for me to just stand out here by myself? <laughs> See, money ain't a thing. We still the same. Clothes just changed. Now we about to change the game. Eminem. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. to this episode <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know which way this is gonna go but <laughs> we're ready for it going somewhere <laughs> but we're here to talk about dating 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 woes and hoes and, <laughs> and, and souls <laughs> and crows and well, don't date the crows, don't date the crows. <laughs> jive turkeys my grandma used to call them she said stay away from them jive turkeys <laughs> Mm. No. So I'm gonna stay away from those. That's a good call. Oh, so we're talking about dating and maybe some bad experiences we've had, of course. and maybe the bad experiences that have come to us, and maybe some bad experiences that we have put out. So <laughs> we put out. It's a balance here. <laughs> Dang, the truth hurts. The truth hurts, but it's necessary for growth. Yeah. So growing pains. Before we get into it, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, let's Yes, absolutely. Yes. So, hi guys, it's me, Latiana, and I'm from House of Lala. That's my blog. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, everyone. My name is Amaris. I'm from B E underscore Glamorous. Live glamorously. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Fashion, mental health, beauty, all about it. About it, about it. And her YouTube channel was to be announced. <laughs> 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 TBA. Yeah, what's it got makeup though? Beyonce covers. Because your makeup. <laughs> Beyonce <laughs> makeup and make, like, Beyonce The last time right? we yes. made a video, you have been throwing it out there. <laughs> you gonna make your YouTube channel? <laughs> well, now you got more time. You got more time now. No I know pressure. I added on a work no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. You can film here. Uh, hello. Newcomer. <laughs> so I should say we have a newcomer here. It took six months for us to come back. We had, we had to sprinkle ourselves with a little salt. <laughs> oh, yay! We have the salt. <laughs> um, my name is Taylor Carr on Instagram. Taylor Carr. Dot mathematician. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. 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 I know yeah. my calculus. <laughs> yeah. Does you plus me equals us? Oh yeah, I remember that song. Hey. I feel that. I'm down for that. <laughs> 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 I know. So yes, ah! so I don't wanna. My mom baked them. I just got oh, really? a long-term relationship in March, so I'm excited to talk about relationships because <laughs> I'm down to grow. Like you know. <laughs> so. That's true. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So what are we gonna ask first? Oh, yeah. Should we start with the bad, get it over with? Let's do it. Bad dating situations? Are we pulling questions out of a hat? I for sure we don't have, have an experience. Oh, yes. <laughs> She's going to tell you that. <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay, so. Okay. <laughs> so I met this guy when I was playing softball at El Camino. He played football at Harvard, right? So yeah. I was like, oh, he's really cute. We're going to talk. And he's like, so then we're talking on Instagram. He's like, okay. I'm gonna take you out. Like, look cute. Like, curl your hair. Do mm -hmm. your he told you to look cute. Yes. And I was like, where are we gonna go? Right? Right. Like, for a first date. Okay, let's go. Dang. So I'm like, looking adorable. <laughs> and I go to pick him up after practice. And I thought he was gonna have a binge shower and all this. And he comes straight from practice. And I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. But okay. that's okay. What are we gonna do? Mm -hmm. We are going to the movies. And I was like, I don't know if I need to look this cute for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We get to the movies. And he's like, I don't have any money. And I had to pay. Oh. And so there was a movie time in 20 minutes. I was like, let's do that one. He's like, no, no, no. I want to spend some time with you. Let's do the later one. I was like, thank God. To deal with this person. Like, who is not, who's not going to shower for a date? They told me I look adorable to. Who's not going to pay? Who's not going to wow. yeah. I know. So then afterwards, and so we didn't eat that hour. Like he wasn't, I was like, maybe I'll find a movie ticket. And he'll like, you know, yeah. take, take me to dinner, right? I'm looking cute. Like my hair was curled and I had all <laughs> my hair. As you can see, her hair is very straight right now. Right, yeah. A little curl. And there was all this, had hair as well. And it was also curled. And then <laughs> I didn't eat. So after the movie, I'm starving. Oh no. And so I, I bought myself Jack in the Box. I dropped them. I never talked to him again, so oh, wow. I hope your football career went well. Toodles. He, he deserved Ooh, to be ghosted. That's yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, thank he, he said knew. he knew. He, he, he said, knew. Look cute. Yeah. <laughs> he knew yeah. better. Mama, yeah. mama didn't raise no fool. Well, never mind. <laughs> that is so true. He, yeah. He's like testing what he can get away with. Mm, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I was young. I like learned. This is pre my own relationship, so yeah. yeah. Better choices, future wise. Wow. How about how about you? I'm just like, I got ghosted on a date. Oh. Mm. What? It was you, weird. You never during showed up during the date. No. Yeah. Okay. Well, we had one date. I met him at the Verizon store. I got a new cell phone. Okay. And he's like, "Oh, it's gonna take time to upload your photos, so we should go out and eat." So he took me out to eat. I said, "Heck yeah, I'm hungry." Yeah, free food. That's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> So um, that was a, actually it was a good date, and then the second date we're supposed to meet like by the beach in Long Beach or whatever, and like oh cool like moonwalk that's gonna be cute yeah. you know maybe I'll finally like, give him a kiss maybe he deserves it, and uh, exactly. he did deserve it because he never showed up, and I'm walking the streets of Long Beach. Oh no! <laughs> uh, no, he was a little shady. I forgot what he was saying, but it made it sound like he might have had a girl at home. Cause at first he was out with his friends at the bar or something. But then, if you can call me back, who did you pick up at the bar to your house? Because you're supposed to be walking your ass to the beach because <laughs> you wow. live close by. So I'm just walking around. He didn't answer his phone. I met some random dude that's like into anime. And <laughs> I don't know why we talked about that. 
it was just some random it was a random night then he like taught me how to skateboard but i sucked at it wow, that is so i had a date with someone else that was <laughs> i mean that was really a date that was like hey guess what happened to me like i got stood up and he's like i'm down to it. teach you how to skateboard yeah and he's like i can't leave you alone now it's dark i'm like yeah, yeah. no more moonlight romantic shit it went out the window gone never saw him again never went to that verizon either yeah, I don't know why. I mean, he, he worked at Verizon, mm-hmm. or he shouldn't have been flirting with you on the clock. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but it sounded kind of fun and like spontaneous. <laughs> yeah, he shouldn't have asked you on a date while he's supposed to be working. <laughs> Actually, he was supposed to quit. I remember now. Oh. So he's not there. Who knows where he is? Oh. Not okay. at the beach. <laughs> Anyways. Uh. Um, I've definitely been on a date where the guy was really rude. Uh, Mr. Rude? Yeah. So first off, it was online. I met this guy online. It's probably your first red flag, okay? Of the night. <laughs> you can't trust nobody online. Have no expectations when you're dating online. Swipe left. Yeah, actually. Right. No expectations. And That's then, um, so we decided to meet. Our first time meeting each other was at a bar. How are you going to hear somebody? How are you going to get to know somebody at a bar? Right. Mm. And then, um, so it was in Hermosa Beach. So it was kind of far too. So I had to travel like 20 miles late at night to go meet up with this guy that I met online. Mm. Um, and so I get there. He's super late. So I'm just waiting in my car. That's <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. I know. I'm just waiting for him. And so then finally he arrives, and I wasn't gonna like wait in line by myself. I'm right. really, I'm very sketchy about women traveling by themselves at night. Oh, of course. Yeah. Do it. yeah. Um, so I was like, well, I'll wait for him to come, and then I'll go outside. So he gets there, and then we greet each other in line, and he was like, oh, you was already here. You could have been waiting in line. <gasps> wait, what? Uh, strike two. Strike two. Oh. And so I'm like, excuse you. <laughs> First of all, yo ass was late, but anyways. Yeah. So then finally we get to the front of the line, um, and this couple that was behind us was like, oh, can we say we're with you guys? Because the line took a long time, so they, they can get in. And he was like, no. <laughs> I was just like, Ooh. Oh. And then he turned to me, he was like, should I be nice, or should I give him a try? I was like, yeah, I mean, two, try. Pe- two people is uh. not going to make a difference. And he was like, oh, okay, fine. So finally we get inside. <laughs> right three. I know, right? No, yeah. We should count. He was like, yeah, so I know. And so then we get inside and he tells me he has to go to the bathroom. So I'm like walking behind him because I was going to wait for him by the bathroom. And then he turns around and he's like, you don't have to follow me to the bathroom. Oh. And I was like, uh, he just went to go to the bathroom too. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, you can't. Yeah, we'll edit it. Yeah. No, it was also warranted. Okay, okay, comment warranted. I mean, what the heck? <laughs>
last round. <laughs> and he was late. And he was, oh, no. And I was like, mm, I'm kind of a lightweight, so I'm going to buy my own drink. <laughs> I was like, I do not want to buy this full drink. I, I'm done with him already. Oh, no. So finally, we end up talking. We find a spot to sit. It's already hard to hear. Um, and he was okay. He was kind of trying to flirt a little bit. And then as we're leaving, um, I had mentioned I was hungry, and I told, I asked, I was like, do you know any places around here? And he was like, I don't live around here. You probably know better than I do. And I was like, I've never been here before. And he was like, well, I don't know. And I was just like, okay. Oh, look. And then I was like, well, I think you're pretty close there, but okay. And he's like, are we really going to argue about who lives closer right now? Are you really going to argue with me right now? I wow. Like, wow. It's so confrontational. Why? Wow. Yeah, like and I was like, okay. Yeah. So I was like done at the end of the night. So he was wow. walking me to my car. Okay. That was one thing he did, right? Um, and then I gave him a hug bye and I was like, bye, nice meeting you. And he's just like standing awkwardly and he was like, So we're not gonna get anything to eat then? Oh uh, what? Like uh, after we just had that No, that's like that's go home. back and forth and now you wanna eat? You act like you didn't want to eat. Wow. He goes on a date yeah. with a beautiful woman and it gets angry all the time. No respect. Wow. No respect. And then wants to get food after he fights with you. And wow. then he was like, I thought you were asking because you wanted to get something to eat. Like, I did. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I, just, I kept it cool because I just oh was like, gosh. you know what? Uh, I'm really tired. I'm going to go home. As soon as I got in that car, I blocked his ass. So I never asked. <laughs> click, click. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. And that was horrible. Yeah. when I was with him, I was just wondering, like, how do you get away with being so rude and inconsiderate in the world? Like, nobody ever taught you, like, to treat people with some type of consideration or exactly. like, decency? That's insane. So that was a bad date. <coughs> no I don't even know if that was a date because it was at a bar, but... No filter at all. Hashtag dating life in LA. Ooh. LA is the oh, yeah. worst. I've been hearing SoCal. about that. Hashtag SoCal dating. Yeah, I've been hearing about that. This wasn't like... <laughs> almost real, it almost feels normal, but like, for normal for things to go bad like that. What is up with that? That's bad. That, no, that's that bad. shouldn't be normal. We need to figure this out. We need to fix this. I don't know how. I don't know but how I'd like it to be fixed. Hope this educates somebody. I feel, like the, <laughs> I feel like the men here are very entitled. Yeah, I could. I think yeah. because dating is so... I've heard about But that. it's so easy. Easy, and it's so accessible. common, and it's so accessible, and so many people... They treat you like that. They treat you like you're so easy, you're so accessible. I don't have to treat you with respect because I can. If you don't like me, I'll just go on with the next girl. I and actually don't even get to like step two to get the phone call though when using the app. Like they'll be like sending eggplant. Is it the eggplant? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't get it. So I send like a watermelon or something, and they yeah. don't. <laughs> it's terrible. They and don't even know how to like write back. Like so are. Are no. LA men also like, are they protective of their pockets? Like, they want to duck expensive. all the time? Like, like, that's it. probably true too. They're going out a lot unsuccessfully <gasps> and spending so much money, but why didn't you work on yourself? Maybe guys that you meet online don't like to spend money because online is so accessible and it's easy. Just go you to meet coffee. people that may not even be a person that was online or in their pictures. So, yeah, yeah I must have like at a bar. Months. Yeah. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds but right. But definitely mm -hmm. online, they're real cheap. You're not gonna get a that's nice steak dinner. Either. Actually, that's I did have good. one good Tinder date. And he was oh. young. He was ten years younger than me, and Ooh. he took me to Nick's on Second Street. And that's, oh, wow. that place is expensive. Oh, that place is we spent a hundred dollars. Like I, he spent a hundred dollars <laughs> easy. So wow. I was like, okay, uh, okay Brazilian. That's like rare. Yeah, but that's Wait, he's dog. Brazilian. Oh yeah, maybe that's why. Maybe they got. The but he was just. Yeah. He didn't realize how old I was. Cause I, I paid for Tinder at that time, so no one would know my age. Oh, oh! oh. So I, I think he thought I was like twenty four. I didn't oh. know that was. Old. <laughs> Say I didn't know the that was age. Look, yes. <laughs> oh, we were talking about I'm that. I'm thirty four. I tell I, if they ask, I'll tell them. Wow. Wow, that's interesting. So, um, it wasn't a date, but <laughs> 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 it didn't get there, huh? But I suspected that that's where it was leading, at least on the guy's end, because I never met him before. Like this guy, I thought we had a friend, like online friendship thing going on, because he lives in London. 
London oh, on the track. Yeah. You got London on the track. Really? England. And I just, I'm fascinated with London culture. It's like, like okay, really? you know, if I play my cards right, I can maybe have some place to visit yeah. or mm -hmm. some person to hang out with mm -hmm. if I ever go to London. Right. That's what I'm thinking. So we were talking to each other, and then I'm thinking it's just like a regular friendship. But then I noticed whenever I wanted to talk to him, he was just MIA for weeks. And then he popped back on. And I thought, like, we were on Snapchat, and I already had him as a friend. But I noticed that it was like he deleted me and then re-added me as a friend to talk to me every <laughs> few weeks. What? And I thought, wait, something's up with that. Why does right. he keep adding me as a friend? Oh. So then I figured it out. I said, like, are you, like, do you have a girlfriend? And you just, like, you try to keep me in hiding so she won't <laughs> ask questions? Or, like, what is hiding? Like, yeah. Like, so that's, like, she, what it was. He, because he, he claimed that, he told me he had a girlfriend. But then he claimed that it was, like, a recent relationship. Like, they've only been together for, like, a month. But we've yeah. been talking for months before that. But he was, it's same been the same way. behavior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... It kind of made me feel like an accidental side chick. Because <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm in hiding. Like, we're supposed to be friends, and you have to hide me from your girlfriend? Right. Like, there's okay. something up with that. Right. So that, like, that's telling me that he wanted something more. And he was just kind of working his way up to it. Mm -hmm. wow. So then I just said, you know, I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> right. I just, I blocked him, and he was, like, trying to, like, stop. I watched him, don't try to stop me. Like, this yeah. is going down, like, I don't want to talk to you again. It's going like, down. <laughs> you know, it's going down. Like, when I say it's done, it's done. The man's blocks have been kind of done. Yeah. yeah. And I can't blame her either. I mean, yeah. I need to keep at him. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, what? What's going on here? That's bad. Like, you should at least tell me that I'm a side chick before you, you know? <laughs> 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 well, well if people were more upfront, at least you know what you're getting into. And well, then yeah. you would say yes if you're. Want to do that, or you just go, oh, hell no. Yeah. And you just <laughs> walk on this way. Oh, man. But not at night alone. <laughs> but Snapchat friends, huh? Yeah. Well, Snapchat <laughs> dating? <laughs> I've Has anyone Snapchat been asked friend. on a date through Snapchat? Huh. I'm That's sure a good question. Happened. People get dates on I LinkedIn. I've heard people wow, alert on Snapchat, but then, I don't know. Someone, um... I met someone through Instagram, and I'm thinking it's innocent because he, um, I guess he was like looking up like a like a username search on his own name and discovered we have the same last name and our username or something like that. Okay. So then we that's how we started talking. And then we were already in the DMs for Instagram. And I thought it was just an innocent conversation. And then all of a sudden he was like, I don't really, I don't really talk on Instagram. Can we move this over to Snapchat? And I'm already kind of right. like. That's a red flag. <laughs> yeah, that's a red flag. I, I mean, a, I was. What's the difference? My ears kind of perked up. Like, well, I didn't hear him, but I'm like, my ears still perked up. I'm like, I don't know where we get it, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> like, Snapchat's more lively <laughs> here. I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt because he he was using modeling as his way in. Like he was like, oh, you know, I'm interested in modeling. And, you know, uh, why not phone number or email? Yeah. I don't or know. He should have hit on you through LinkedIn. I mean, let's just yeah, send that was... emoji. <laughs> yeah, that's like. So he was like. So on Snapchat, he was like, oh, let me show you the work that I've done. Like, and he's showing me like halfway nudes. Like, where he's showing. Of his... himself? Yeah, like showing his underwear. And I said, you know, that's it. I've seen, oh, I've seen enough. <laughs> I've seen enough, and I blocked him. Keep your clothes on. I just, I need no. to let it go. Yeah, for, I was just waiting for him to do something like that. I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't know, now you know. Well, maybe they do it because they get away with it. Yeah, exactly. There's going to be so many rejections until some of them be like, ah, okay. Is that one? Okay, like, snap. Snap. Oh, but you know, I think Back men, in the day. <laughs> some boy, well, I guess we call them boys, not men, but boys. Like, they have the tendency to kind of test what they can do with you. Yes. Yeah. You know? So, like, they kind of inch their way into, like, okay, let me see where this goes. Mm -hmm. And then, before they know it, they have you in bed with them, you know? It's I like, know that with. just like that. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. <laughs> it worked great. 
Yeah, if it works one time, <laughs> that dopamine goes off, and then it's like pleasure, and then they're like, I could do it again. Yeah. That's a fail. But it, I don't know, it's hard because some women just maybe want to have sex. Mm-hmm. Swipe right, let's hook up. Like, I have a friend that does that, right? But not everyone fits that mold. That's true. And they assume it, or they hope for it, and they go for it. Yeah, I feel like. I don't know. No, that's wow. true. And there's probably, because California is so vast, there is probably more women like that, that men have encountered. Mm-hmm. So when they meet you, they're not sure what they're getting. They don't, <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> it's like a jack in a box. They're not, they don't see you and think, oh, this could be a really nice girl. Somebody I can connect with. They're probably thinking it could be a nice girl. It could be somebody that wants to have sex. It could be somebody mm-hmm. that wants to blow me off. Like, <laughs> real good. Yeah. You don't know what you're getting. Oh, 